Welcome back to Off the Walls Oddballs. It's been a little bit since I did a video. Things have changed in my life for the positive. We don't have the art studio anymore. We have something better, a camper. Check out these fish I'm making. They're made out of cedar. They were a fi fishing lure once upon a time. Well, I'm changing them into wind chimes. The ghost teethies. It's a friendly one. See? Friendly teeth. This will be his eye. And the cool thing is, is you can turn them this way. Or that way. And each way, they look like they're smiling. And that's John in the background walking through. Say, hey, John. Hi. <laughs> Getting some stuff together for our art show this weekend. We'll be in Fort Walton this weekend. See all the details? There's gold, there's turquoise, there's blues. So when I put the clear coat on, it'll make all those colors pop. We'll probably use automotive clear. Even though I have used acrylic paint. If you put the automotive clear over the acrylic, it will not fish eye or the paint won't pop in a bad way. There's a good way for paint to pop and a bad way for paint to pop. So if you put that on there, then you don't have to worry about, um, about it messing up. But if you do it the opposite way, if you put the water-based paint on top of the oil base, it does not work. But if you do it the opposite way, it does. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Everybody say hey to Velvet. She's going in the camper, getting on her bean bag. I'll be back with you momentarily and show you all the funky fish that we'll be having. It's just like, does he look better like this? Or does he look better like that? Either way, I kind of like it like that, to tell you the truth. Love these new colors that I have mixed up. I found um, at Hobby Lobby. Or was it Michaels? That goes Michaels. Some great acrylic paint. Beautiful colors already. And then when you turn around and make them your own by adding all the other colors with it, you make it your own. Then we have, like I said, we have salt and pepper shakers going on. Look how little. Okay, I got little bitty hands. I mean, little hands. See? How cute are they? Do it like that. Maybe then you can kind of see. How cool. They have little stoppers in the bottom. Original stoppers. All of my salt and pepper shakers are vintage. Most likely from the 1970s, so they're as old as I am. And Sunday, I'll be 48, baby. Proud to say. And here's the salt. And look at all the different colors I got on this, even though they're so small. I've got to go back over the bottoms. And there's the, the stopper. I will get in here and get that um, painted up and everything. You don't want no wood showing. Because if it does happen to get wet, if somebody spills a drink or whatever, you don't want the wood to get wet. So let me tell you a little bit how to maintain your bowls. All of them are wooden. Even the big ones. And then we have a few of the utensils. Just getting the primer coat on these. Then we have the big salad bowls as well. This, this sucker is pretty big. More utensils. Love, love, love these. Another fish. See, I kind of like him like that. I really do. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Comment below. This I started out as black 
with the white. And then I put this beautiful emerald green over all of it and just, I can't wait to put the clear on it to see what it's gonna look like. Because even though I've been doing art most of my life, I don't know what the finished product will look like. But see how big this one is? They come in all different kinds of wood, from pine to monkey pod to, I mean, all kinds, hardwood, softwoods. But anyway, what you need to do to um, preserve these, because you do not want to get them wet, the bowls and the salt and pepper shakers. So, you don't need to put any dressing on your salad until you get it in your serving bowl, then you don't need to overload. You can always add more. You know how much we love our salad dressings. But you cannot overload them because you will ruin your bowls. The paint does protect it a little bit, and this is non-toxic paint, so you're fine. But you don't want the wood in the bowls to get wet because it will ruin the bowls. You would have ruined them before I put the paint on, and then if you get it wet with the paint, then you're going to ruin the paint and the wood. So wipe them out. And I do suggest using some kind of wax. That's Velvet putting in her two cents. Like honey or um, beeswax, something like that. Something natural. Something from earth. Which the word natural is whatever these days. So, but anyway... So, love these. I am looking for some more of these. So if you guys are in this area and do this kind of stuff, let me know if you have any. Love this purple color I've created. Then I've also got this green set that I will be having probably that wood, big wooden bowl part of it, or I've got another big wooden bowl. And this is what, okay, this is like I don't even know if you can see that. My, I'm outside, but still my lighting is kind of off. And by the way, it is gorgeous. It is going to be like 75 today. Yeah, I love living in the south. I'm in a tank top. See what I've done here? I don't know if you can see that or not. See, ah, oh, there you go. I love doing these kind of designs, as you probably know. See how that is? It'll go all the way around the bowl. And then I'll add more to it down here. And inside as well. Let me get set back up and I'll do another video for you. Thank you very much. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share all my videos with you. You and your friends. Thank you very much. Have a delicious day.